Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Welcome back to Remote Rewind, where we dive into the latest controversies and stories that shape the world of sports. Today, we're discussing a perplexing rule from the International Paralympic Committee, which has recently made headlines for disqualifying athletes based on something as personal as a tattoo. Specifically, any athlete sporting an Olympic rings tattoo can face disqualification from competing in the Paralympics. This rule, enacted by the IPC, stems from past incidents and is grounded in the belief that such tattoos represent advertising, something they strictly regulate. The origins of this polemic trace back to the 2016 Rio Olympics, when middle-distance runner Nick Simmons had to navigate a contentious situation by tattooing a sponsor's logo, which drew ire from conflicting sponsors. Since then, the IPC has adopted a zero-tolerance stance toward tattoos they deem as commercial endorsements, even if, in many cases, these tattoos symbolize personal achievement and pride. Compounding the confusion, many athletes see the Olympic rings as a badge of honor rather than a brand. Chris Jacobs, an Olympic swimmer, described his rings tattoo as like a membership card to an exclusive club, asserting that it commemorates a significant chapter of his life. However, even with their deep personal significance, the IPC has maintained that the rings are classified as advertising and thus are subject to disqualification. The paradox lies in the Paralympics' proclaimed mission of inclusiveness, while enforcing rules that feel discriminatory to athletes wishing to honor their Olympic journeys. Online debates have erupted, prompting questions about the committee's stance and whether it truly aligns with the spirit of the Games. Interestingly, there are ways for athletes to compete while adorned with such tattoos, but they often require extra measures. For swimmers, this can be a difficult task, as they must find ways to cover these tattoos, which may include improvising with body paint or clothing. This was notably successful for Joseph Craig, a para swimmer who managed a clever workaround during the Rio Olympics by covering his Olympic rings with the Union Jack flag, an emblem that the IIPC cannot appreciate as an advertisement. So we want to know your thoughts on this controversial rule. Does disqualifying athletes for having Olympic rings tattoos promote fairness, or is it an absurd policy that stifles personal expression? Share your opinions in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful discussions from Remote Rewind. Bung!